Uh, well, that is the Bible story that God can absolutely rescue anybody. But uh, Marie, you better just bring us back to the point here. What does Revelation 19 <laughs> actually talk about? Yeah, well, the language is really dramatic. Mm. And um, in verse 1, it says that the great prostitute is destroyed by her customers, never to rise again. Mm -hmm. Then in verse 4, heaven is happy and declares that God is fair and just. And then we come down to verse 6. And this is when the great wedding supper comes in. And um, Jesus comes and prepares to meet his bride, which is the exciting part. Mm -hmm. And verse 11, the lamb is actually king of kings, lord of lords, and comes with all the host of heaven, and they're all dressed in white. Okay, yeah. and what <laughs> happens next? <laughs> and then in verse 17, we read that the final battle, Jesus comes and his enemies are slain by the sword coming out of his mouth. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about you. I don't know whether to be ecstatic, <laughs> happy, ecstatic, or horrified. <laughs> What's this, a sword coming out of his mouth, killing everybody? Come on, Neil. Yeah, well, look, it, it, it's, we're, we've got in here scenes of judgment taking place, haven't we? And separating two groups of people. And um, that judgment scene, yeah, it, it, it's a bit of a, a, a tough thing if you're on the receiving end of that. But no one needs to be on the receiving end of that. Everyone has now the opportunity to be on the rescue package. That's what this is all about. It's a, a, it's a wake up call, yes, but we have an opportunity to be on the, on the right side of that if we make the wise choices now. Now, the amazing thing is if, if you read the Bible and understand its theme somewhat, it, it may not even be God that's machine gunning the world. Oh, it might just be the world itself having its complete meltdown. A nuclear meltdown. holocaust, course, Absolutely. for argument's sake, and God's rescuing Us anybody from, our, that wants from to ourselves. Go. That's oh, right. Okay, okay. So how can that be? If God rescues people, how can the Bible say all life is destroyed? <laughs> well, let me have yeah. a crack at that. Just think about it this way for a moment. Remember, Christmas is just around the corner. And what's Christmas to remind us of? It's about Jesus' birth 2,000 years ago. So we get from the Bible story this, um, the truth that Jesus, God, came to earth 2,000 years ago. And when he came, he kept on saying this famous line, I'm coming back again. In fact, all through the Old Testament and the New Testament, we get this incredible, beautiful promise that Jesus is coming again. And so now let's connect that back to Revelation 19 where we are today. And we see that we've got the return of Jesus Christ to rescue people in the midst of disaster. Yeah. And that pattern is all throughout scripture. And the Bible's telling us that's the way it's gonna be at the time of this disaster. Jesus will be there coming again, rescuing people. In fact, Paul describes it this way in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 15 to 17. And the Bible says, according to the Lord's own word, we tell you that those who are still alive and are left till the coming of the Lord will certainly not precede those who are falling asleep. It's describing the exact moment when Christ returns. It says, for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. And after that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds. And wow. that's when the wedding party starts, right? That's there. when the wedding party starts. It does, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Jesus came at Christmas time, arguably 2,000 years ago, the God of the universe visiting our world, and he's coming back again. That's right. And that's why it's a wedding party. That's and the exciting. reason he's coming again? To rescue, because the planet's headed for the disaster. That's right. Okay, mm -hmm. have I got that right, Marie? Yep, and You've got I 30 seconds. Wait. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and really, it doesn't matter whether this, you know, there's going to be these environmental disasters um, unfortunately we're all going to die one day and that's okay. that's tragedy but um, oh, with or without the end yeah. of the planet we're yeah. going to die in any case yeah okay right yeah again. and um, unfortunately we don't know what it's like when family members oh. die till it actually happens to us but there's a beautiful promise in the bible and i'd just like to read that from first corinthians 15 51 to 53 behold i tell you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. What a marvellous promise, Marie. Isn't it a wonderful thing to think about? The return of Jesus Christ. He came once 2,000 years ago. He's coming back to rescue anybody that says yes, because God is a God of love. If you've got questions, trust him because he always will love you.